Let's go on to talk about how to close sellers on the price using the rate of absorption. And what this refers to is the rate of absorption is how quickly the inventory is turning over. So, you know, if you're in the supermarket, you want, you know, you do want fruit that's five days old or milk that's a week old or meat that's more than three or four days old, uh, maybe more, not more than one or two, you know, again, so it's how quickly does the inventory turn? And what we looked at again at the beginning is six months of inventories that, you know, kind of the fulcrum point, you know, flat market, more than six months, price is possibly going down, less than six months, price is, you know, starting to go up. So let's take a look at how this works. So here's what the numbers mean. You want to talk about this in terms of the probability of selling. So you want to check the MLS for the number of months of inventory in your location and price range. So let's assume there's five months of inventory. That means that in any given month, and here's a huge takeaway, in any given month, if there's five months of inventory, only 20% of the properties will sell, 80% of them will still be on the market next month. So even though you've got a good market with five months of inventory, one out of five homes will sell. Now, Greg, you're in a market where you've got parts in the market where there's only two months of inventory, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, or less. Yeah, so the, the probability if there's two months of inventory is still that 50% of those properties will not sell this month. They'll still be on the market this month. So in either case, let's assume it's the five months, to, be, to sell your property, you have to be in the top 20% in terms of your value and your price. And in the 50%, you know, in this place where Greg's got two, two months, it's, you have to be in the top 50%. So, you know, how many times have we seen stuff sit on the market for months and months, even in a strong market because they're overpriced? Now, here's how this ties in. So here's script number nine, two, the rate of absorption. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, you now have an important decision to make. Are you going to position your property so you're in the top 20% of properties that will sell this month? Or will you position your property where it'll be in the 80% that will still be on the market next month? It's your choice. What would you like to do? And this is so powerful. And also notice that I use the word position. And the reason for using the term position is that People have price anchored in their brain. The term position lets me help them think about this in a different way. So again, will you be in the top 20% that will sell or will you be in the 80% that will still be on the market next month? It's your choice. What would you like to do?